the, the, no, the, 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 the thing itself, oh. turn around the thing. <coughs> no, man, come, show you see me. No, what you got to do? You need to turn it round. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Move it, yeah, hold the thing right there, the camera right over here, sir. Yeah, the shoulder and black the whole thing. The camera right there, right, yes, sir. Okay. Hold it up. Shake it now. Do you think? Okay, okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to define your natural curls using the Cantu Avocado Gel. You want to start with freshly washed damp hair. Taking small sections, you apply the gel and use the Denman brush to curl. I'll be repeating the steps so you'll be able to see exactly what's happening. Part a section of your hair. Apply the gel from the roots to the mid shafts to the ends. Make sure that it's thoroughly saturated. You can add water if you need to. Place the brush at your roots as if you're going to brush your hair. Now instead of pulling it straight out, you want to curve the brush upward so that it gives it that curl. Again, place your brush at the roots and curve it upwards as you're pulling it through. You're going to take your rat tail comb to just kind of fluff out the curls so that you don't see the parts that you made. I did freehand parts because it didn't matter to me what direction the curls are going into. I was getting pretty excited with the results. I think that the curls look so juicy and bouncy and so defined. It gives it shine. It just looked so nice. Again, go in with your rat tail comb ever so often to make sure that you're fluffing up those lines so that you're not able to see them.
remember you're turning the brush upward. Continue the steps throughout your entire head. You make your part, you add your gel and water, you brush from the roots and turn the brush upward and out. As you move upward, the longer pieces kind of fall onto the shorter pieces so you don't see the lines as much, but you still want to play around with it a little bit so you don't have any crazy gaps. When you get to the front, just be mindful of how you are parting, depending on how you want the curls to lay, just in case you wanna have like a side part or something like that. 